Hey y'all, it's me. It's Tammy Nichols with Real Southern Woman. If you've been wondering what I'm up to, I was gonna come on and tell you guys. Lord, I hope I'm not late. It is four. I have an appointment at 4.30. Our Walmart on 120. Oh, I cut off my, <laughs> my Wi-Fi. But anyway, our Walmart has a new medical center in it. It has a pharmacy, a clinic, a real health clinic, like a doctor's office, not just one of those little health clinics. It has a dentist office and a hearing, they even do hearing aids now and hearing tests. This is our Walmart and it's supposed to be a lot cheaper if you don't have insurance. So I don't have insurance for dental because Chris retired. We kept our health insurance, um, but we didn't get to keep our dental insurance. There's a lot of traffic out. It is, um, anyway, I have been eating ice, and I noticed three days ago that my back tooth, just one second, y'all. I noticed three days ago that my filling I thought my feeling, either my feeling is coming out in my back tooth, or my back tooth is broken. Well, I don't want to wait till it gets to hurting so bad I can't stand it. And I've been very careful not to let it fall out, even chewing, chewing gum and everything else. Y'all know how I am. Um, Amy went, well, it might do you some good not to chew on that chewing gum. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so that's where I'm headed to the dentist office. I did some videoing yesterday for y'all. Chris had me take off the video from yesterday because I pulled, because I showed my pocketbook, driver's license. I don't really even think that matters anymore because your driver's license number is not your social security number or anything anybody can use to spend money. So I don't know what he was thinking, but I had to edit that and I got to put it back on. All right. So, when I, what happened yesterday was when I got off the phone with y'all, I did not go to Goodwill. I went straight to Kohl's. I got Chris a shirt and a pair of shorts and me a dress. Amy, a hairbrush for wet hair. And that's all I got in there. Then I left there and I was going to head to Belk. And on the way to Belk... I saw a huge thrift store with antiques. So, just one second, I gotta look and see when I can get out. So, I went in that thrift store, y'all, and I videoed a lot of stuff. I videoed only about six minutes with, I did get you a GoPro. I did get a GoPro. So, I videoed a little bit of Coles with my new GoPro, a little bit on the way to Belk with the with my phone, actually. Then I videoed in that thrift store with the GoPro and my phone for y'all. Some really cool stuff to see, okay? The thing is, is by the time I got home, um, you can't go live for one in these stores. It won't pick up. So I had to go with Amy to the doctor yesterday and she had to be at the doctor's office at 10 after three. And so by the time I was done, y'all, I was so tired because y'all know I've got fibromyalgia and all this other crazy stuff. Well, I have tendon problems mostly. My fibromyalgia actually has been doing pretty good. But I have tendon problems and they, anytime I do any kind of exercise, even if it's just walking around a lot in a store, my tendons get swollen where they connect. And I have problems in my feet, in my legs, in my arms. Anywhere in my body where there's a tendon, I can have a problem. So yesterday, when I got home, the tendon that connects your top, your hamstring to behind your knee, was like, you know, real swollen and thick and was hurting and throbbing. So when I got home, I was just too tired to do Bible study. I was too tired to do anything. So I got home, I um, rested, then I edited that video on those biscuits that I put on today. 
I, I, I stayed up to midnight doing that. And then I put my, I have some cream that the doctor gave me called, let me think of the name of it. Y'all probably got some. It's for people with arthritis and stuff. It's, it, it's got an orange and, and white, and it's kind of like aspirin cream, but it's prescription. And so I rubbed that on the back of my knee, and it worked like a charm. If y'all don't have any of that stuff, y'all need to get you some. Ask your doctor for some. You can get diclofenac like that in cream form, and it works. Or you can get this stuff, and I can't think of the name of it for y'all, but I'll try to put it on the post when I get home. Anyway, I rubbed that on the back of my knee, and it took the pain away, and it hadn't hurt me since. So today, I've been working on my brother's church, Collard Valley Baptist. Um, he is, I put it in the computer, the whole church, because we field measured it on Labor Day. And I have still not put that church in the computer, so Eddie got on to me yesterday. So y'all, I did that yesterday, I mean, I did that today, I just finished it. Now I'm headed to the dentist. And I really want to make something tonight. I'm going to make corn pudding. Do y'all like corn pudding? I wonder if that'll be a good video for y'all. And um, I got all the stuff to make it. I got some fresh corn. And um, it sounds really good. Now, I know there's a corn casserole that a lot of people make. And it's okay. But you use canned corn. This one... It's going to be a really good homemade bread, uh, corn pudding with corn I cut, cut off the cob. So when I get back home, I'm hoping to make that video. Now, if I do it live because Facebook's quality is so terrible, and it really is, I'll probably do it live on YouTube. So y'all can be looking for me on YouTube this evening. Um, Jeanette says she's never had it. She'd rather have cream corn. I, I know. I mean, I love cream corn, but I've already got a field corn recipe on YouTube and a cream corn recipe on YouTube. Well, I've got one that's fried corn that I don't thicken, and I got one that's one that I do thicken. And so, I wanted to do something different. Um, Luke. I guess your name is Lula. Lula Johnson says she enjoys corn pudding. So, don't y'all think it's wonderful that our Walmart has got a health clinic that's a lot cheaper for people to go to that can't afford? Um, I really am excited about it because a lot of those people wind up in the emergency room and there's not an emergency and they're in the way for people who have an emergency. And you know what I'm talking about because they don't have health insurance. Uh, and now maybe they can afford to go to this Walmart. I hope so. Um, I think they said it was about $40 to see the doctor. And the labs are supposed to be cheaper. And I'll let y'all know when I come out of here because my doctor's office charges, my dentist's office that I was going to, I've been going to for years, charges $130 just to be looked at. The dentist office in Cedartown is a lot cheaper where I'm from. It's called Willis Dentistry, and she was going to charge me 200 and like, I think it's $60 for a exam, a cleaning, and x-rays. But I'm about to go in this Walmart. When I come out, I'll let y'all know how much they charged me. Because... Um, the, the clinic in Cedartown is about $100 cheaper than it is up here in Dallas, Georgia. To kind of give you an idea. And what's so crazy, I just told Eddie that I was going to the dentist that my back tooth was messed up. And he's got a tooth messed up that started hurting him yesterday. Me and him are on the same wavelength. Um, I told him about this Walmart. I told him that when I got out, I'd call him and let him know how it went. I hope y'all had a good day. I know y'all probably think I ain't doing nothing since I didn't come back on here, but y'all wouldn't believe how busy I stay. You know what I did? I got my GoPro, but yesterday, and I thought about wearing it today just to show y'all how much I do during the day. Uh, but I mean, it would have been boring for y'all to watch me draw that church, but um, <laughs> there was an ambulance. Anyway, um, 
But I want to see what the view is like and how it's going to work before I video any more with it. Because um, I bought a mount that kind of goes on the strap, so I put it on my purse strap. And so I got to kind of see how the view is like where it needs to be turned so y'all can see things. So like when I was when I was shopping yesterday, I'm excited about the shopping part. And I tell you why, I went in that craft store and you just not craft store, thrift store, you just see so much, you know? And I love glass. And they had a lot of glass in there and they had some amber glass which I think is beautiful. And um, they just had a lot of really neat things in there. And guess what? I did buy something. I bought a marble rolling pin. I surely did. I've been wanting one, and they cost a lot. But I paid $7.50 for it. And it doesn't even look like it's been used. I think a lot of people buy stuff like that just to decorate with. And so, I will show y'all what I got later on tonight. If I feel like it after I cook. And I hope this dentist don't hurt me. So, y'all pray that he don't hurt me. Or she, whoever it is. Y'all tell me what y'all been doing today. On a Thursday. So I can look. I mean, I can see what y'all are saying real easy when I'm driving. Um, tell me. I saw some clowns in that thrift store, y'all. If there's something specifically, if you're a shut-in and you really can't get out, but you really like something that you'd like to see it, tell me what it is and I'll make a video for you. I would enjoy it. Gets me out of the house. I mean, if I don't, if I don't have a reason to get out of the house, then lots of times I don't even want to get up and get dressed. Like today, I put on my, um, not my foundation foundation, but just my BB cream and a little bit of makeup but I didn't want to put on lipstick. I know y'all hardly ever see me without lipstick on. But not when you're going to the dentist. You don't want to put lipstick on. So, um, if y'all think of something. I saw clowns in there. I saw tons of, uh, of course, Coca-Cola stuff. And there was a couple of booths that had some really old stuff in them. But it's one of those th places where, you know, everybody's doing this now. They rent out these booths and different people um, take care of the booth. And th there's a bunch of different booths in the store. And um, that's what it looks like. Jeanette says that she went to the gym and come home and watched a couple of shows with her husband. And it's right in there. Oh my goodness, I need to go to the gym. See, if I went to the gym, I'd have tendonitis all over my body. Brenda says she likes looking at kitchen stuff. So do I. And I, um, I, um, didn't see a whole lot of kitchen stuff. There was some corning ware. Um, there was one pile I thought I might find an old biscuit cutter or something in, but there wasn't nothing in there. And, um, most, most of it was glass. Deborah works at a neighborhood market, and Judy loves Goodwill stores. So do I. I need to go to the Goodwill. Um, I could do that when I leave, but then I won't feel like. By the time I get my tooth fixed, I won't wind up doing a video if I don't get home. Um, the bad thing about doing live video, I know y'all like it, but it is so complicated. Um, and I'll tell you why. When I do a live video, just like with those roll biscuits, when I did it, it's good until you get it in the oven. And then who wants to wait 30 minutes for something to come out of the oven live? You can't, you can't show the final product. And then when I do that on Facebook, well, on YouTube, and even on Facebook, now that I got a lot of new people, they're like, why didn't you show us the biscuits? Or why didn't you show us the final product? And you cannot do that when you're live unless you're frying something. So you can't fry everything you cook. Hey, I know what I could make and fry and go live this evening. I bought some cracklings. I could do crackling corn pones. Tell me if you want me to do that one. I can do that this evening live. And that way you can see the final result. But it will be on YouTube. Y'all can start sending on the Facebook page. There's a help thing. Y'all can start sending them messages and telling them to fix my video quality. So I can come back on live with y'all. 
But I'm not going to do live video if it's 480 pixels. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm just not. Um, she says she likes the Salvation Army. Mondays are half price. Wow. Um, Jeanette said, after all the years, I didn't have a blending fork, so I bought it through your site. Jeanette, I, you will enjoy that blending fork. I'm sorry, y'all. But there is nothing better for cutting and shortening and doing streusel than a blending fork. And I had a lady the other day when I was making streusel say, I would put that in my um, food processor thing. And I thought, who wants to get out a food processor? I'm sorry, y'all, but I just don't, I don't hardly ever use a food processor. Um, because you got to get them out. It takes, you know, a good three minutes to get it off the shelf, open it up, use it, you know, then you got to wash all those parts when you can just wash a blending fork. And it only takes, really and truly, to even do the streusel a matter of just like maybe two to three minutes. Um, but now I did, I will say, Joanne Richardson sent me a, um, something that it's a um i have the hardest time recalling things food processor type thing and she she sent me a message after a couple of weeks and asked me how to use it and i said no i won't use it unless i have to make something really big in bulk so joanne i will say that i used your food processor this past sunday me and chris took barbecue pork for our Sunday school uh, meeting on Sunday night and I had to make fresh slaw and I was making it for a lot of people and they ate it too and so I used that food processor you bought me and shredded up a whole large cabbage I surely did so I did do that I will only use one if I've got a whole lot to do, to do. Chris says they're having massive flooding from the tropical storm in Houston. Chris, I ain't even seen that. I haven't been watching. When the t when Chris leaves, I don't even turn my TV on. Willie Jean says she hates cleaning them. So do I. I just don't. I don't think it's worth it. And I'm the same way with a lot of stuff. I use simple tools in the kitchen most of the time because I don't want to fool with washing the other ones. Now, I will say this, there ain't nothing like a KitchenAid mixer. Y'all know what? I got me a new one. I surely did. Yesterday, when I got home, I did do that. After I went shopping, I had a good coupon. Well, I went on, I have this, I have this system on my computer that helps me find all the coupon codes. And I also get cash back for shopping online. I'll send y'all a link to it because if somebody signs up, I get $10. But I'll send you a link because you just approve the little thing that gets on your little search engine. So yesterday when I got home, I thought, you know what? I really want that nice mixer, the 600, the KitchenAid 600. Mine is not doing well, real well. I don't know if you watched it when I made those cookies the other day, but it bogged down and quit. But anyway, I've had it for a very long time. And I've just worn it out. Um, so I put KitchenAid 600 in there. It's the five, it's the uh, six quart um, mixing bowl, the 600 professional mixer. Now they have a seven quart, but the, I don't like the ratings on it. And they have a seven quart with a clear bowl, which I don't like the ratings on either. Everybody says that the that the uh paddle don't hit the bottom of the bowl and so it don't reach the very bottom of the bowl so when you're mixing the stuff in the bottom don't get picked up so that's a real they're getting a lot of bad reviews because of that so i was like i wouldn't fool with that seven a quart a six quart would be great because i have a four and a half now and um there's a five that's real popular in different colors but i just got white because no matter where i live it'll match everything and um, I'd love to have gotten the orange, but I got the white because I got the six. But anyway, y'all are not going to believe this. That six refurbished costs 
around $300 refurbished. It retails for like $600, okay? Um, but y'all know me, I can't buy anything unless I can get a bargain. So I use that little app and I found that mixer at um, Bath and Bath and is it Bed and Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond. There is a crazy person behind me driving. They better be having to go to the emergency room because they're driving like a nut. I'll let y'all look at them. I don't know if y'all can see that person or not. But they're weaving in and out of um, traffic and driving like they're 17 years old. They're a 17 year old boy. So their hazard lights are not on. So that means that they don't have to go to the hospital. They need to chill, whoever it is. But anyway, um, I hate it when people drive like that. But anyway, I got that mixing, that mixer. I'll send y'all a link. Because I got a coupon because I signed up with an email because I never shop there. I signed up with an email. They must be late for work because they're coming into Walmart. And I signed up for an email. I'm sorry, y'all. I signed up for an email and they gave me a 30% off coupon for one purchase, for one item. I used it on the mixer. They already had it on sale for $349. Then I used my coupon. Then I also got $24 cash back or t around $20 cash back because I ordered it online through that service. I got that mixer uh, at a wonderful price. And so I will uh, put the information on there in case any of y'all been wanting one because I got that mixer for the price that you would pay for the smaller one. It was like I was stealing. I felt almost bad about it. So anyway, I'm at the Walmart. I got to find this new medical center. I don't even know where they put it. I, I never come to this Walmart. It's over on 120 towards Marietta, but it is a Dallas Walmart. Oh, Walmart Health Center. I'm going to let y'all see it because eventually maybe y'all will get one, okay? I want y'all to see what it looks like from the outside. And maybe your town will get a Walmart health center. Look at that, y'all. Nice, huh? So let's go in here and go to the dentist and see what they have to say about my tooth. I gotta go around on the other side. Look, they have primary care dental, hearing, counseling, labs, and optometry. That's amazing, ain't it? So anyway, I wish I could take y'all in here with me, but it wouldn't be um, the right thing to do because of, you know, privacy. So anyway, I gotta go. I'm right on time. I love y'all. Bye.